ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد العبد وحبيب وخاتم رسل My brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It is an honor for me to stand here before you to share with you knowledge and education that can benefit us first of all and benefit the people who we can approach for Islam came not only for one individual or a certain type of people it came for all of the people of the world it even came to the jinns a life form which is not created from soil but from fire we cannot see them but just to point out that Islam came to every being and not just the human being either therefore it is a great honor for any Muslim to learn something about Islam and share it and pass it on to others you are like a river like a river that has many streams and its streams go to many different lakes from which many streams come out of and they give their water to every land from one person you can spread this teaching and you will be a selfish person if you don't spread what you know for a Muslim who is strong and has knowledge is much better than a Muslim who is weak and is ignorant that's what Allah says in the Quran and that's what the Prophet Muhammad says to us therefore Islam is not a secret it is for everyone and what a beautiful religion we have that people misunderstand these days and I believe that it is partly or mostly our fault as Muslims because one of the reasons is that we are listening to them too much and we are being convinced by what they say about our own religion a lot of us are beginning to think even negative about our own religion and judging our religion without looking into it and a lot of us we're too embarrassed we're too embarrassed to share our religion so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us encouraged and a lot of us are ignorant about it Wallahi it is not only a religion but a way of life that pleases the eyes and pleases the hearts, pleases the ears, pleases the minds when people hear about it. They can be your greatest enemy. But when you teach them the right thing about Islam, you will find that their hearts begin to flutter and they say something like, that makes sense. They don't know what kind of sense they're talking about, but it makes sense to them somehow. We call it fitra. So if you like, it makes fitra sense. What it, the way that every person is born. The topic today is part of this fitrah this sense that we use brothers and sisters in Islam it is part of the evil nature of the human being to be judgmental do you all agree? who doesn't agree with that? since we all agree that it is part of the evil nature of the human being to be judgmental of others we have to know the reasons why we are judgmental of others and we have to understand whether all judgments are forbidden in Islam and are evil or whether some judgments are evil and others are accepted I put to you this first of all the topic behind me yes. the brothers were disputing whether they should have a question mark at the end of it or not because I requested to place a question mark at the end so they went into a debate should we place it, should we not I'm revealing now, exposing them. And they said that the topic made you confused. And that was my aim. My aim was to make some people a little bit confused so they can come here and find out what is this person on about? Why is this vocabulary all, all, all of a sudden changed? Does he know his grammar properly? You see, who knows Tupac? Heard of Tupac? Come on, put your hand up. Now's the time to get you. Tupac a famous um, what, you, what is he a, a, a rapper Good. so he's a rapper and he used to have on his tattooed on his chest is it or on his back this same statement only God can judge me isn't that right yeah 
correct me brothers because I don't know okay I'm right <laughs> they used to have a tattoo only God can judge me from his point of view what he means is that no judge can judge him no one can put any sentence against him he can do forbidden things he can do bad things but no one can judge him you can kill someone no one can judge you you can do all these bad no one can judge you only God can judge me from his point of view it's wrong Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ultimate judge correct because he is the one who knows what we think and he is the, know, he is the only one that knows what we believe in inside of our hearts nobody no one can tell you what's inside your heart except yourself and Allah who is even closer to you than your own jugular vein he knows what whispers inside your thoughts even in your subconscious mind Allah says in the Quran وَلَقَدْ خَلَقُنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ We have created the human being. And we know what whispers inside of his conscience. And we are closer to him or her than their own jugular vein. Meaning Allah is aware and knowledgeable about yourself even more, metaphorically speaking, closer than what your own vein is attached to your neck. Therefore, who has the right to look inside of other people's hearts and minds and judge them? If you are judging people thinking that you know, or I know that somebody, what they're thinking or what they're feeling, or what their intention is, I am making shirk. And shirk means making partners with Allah. That Allah, if I believe that Allah knows all the unseen, how can I claim to know the unseen? I've made myself a partner to Allah billah. Therefore it's shirk to believe that you can tell what's inside of a person and say, I know their intent, I know their thinking. Nobody knows it. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the insides of a person. And do you know what causes us to begin to judge others wrongly? Can anyone tell me? Yes, sis. We're insecure in ourselves, that's one thing, yes. So we don't, we probably have judged ourselves. And when we found that we're not perfect, we need to judge others. Because it's like the shaitan, you see, Iblis, la'natullahi alayhi. When he had pride, didn't prostrate to Adam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him, Allah called him an outcast. And you know what? Iblis said, I'm going to lead astray every, all of his children. I'm going to make him come into hellfire with me. Why? Because he doesn't, he doesn't want to go to hellfire alone. He wants to share it with other people. And when you feel insecure about yourselves, good answer. You want to feel and know that other people are also inadequate like you. They're also insecure. Even if they're not, you want to put it against them. And this is wallahi evil and haram. That's slander. Does anyone else know what are the main causes of a person beginning to judge other people. There is a more uh, a more defined reason, a more direct reason. It could be a lack of iman. Of course, sure, brother. Lack of iman, lack of faith, lack of, lack of fearing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does cause you to judge other people. But what is the human, the, like whether you are a mu'min or not, what is the human reason, the natural reason that leads people to judge other people. Okay, we have two answers. One more answer, inshallah, and then I'll give the answer. Jealousy? Close. You are close, but jealousy is an element. But to be more precise, brother, it's suspicion. Suspicion. You suspect people. You assume. From the assumption, judgment develops. Isn't that right? If a person doesn't keep the assumption in their mind, they begin to judge and they talk about it. they judge and then a rumor develops about this person and then people begin to judge them and then when they go to get married no one gives them their daughter or their son because they're judged wrongly rumors down they're stereotyped based on a mere suspicion by somebody now I have to say that suspicion is a natural thing of the human being for example if we all left this room right now and my mobile was left here on this desk 
and we knew that there was only one more person left in the room before we all came back in we found the mobile missing it's natural to suspect that one person that was in the room last isn't that right? it's natural can I still judge them? no I can't why? I haven't seen them I don't have clear evidence isn't that correct? I do not have clear evidence and this is the key 